copyrighted music. So, I have absolutely no memory of what we were doing at all. I've just started combat with nothing. Nice one. Oh yeah, that's right, we're on a quest for a rope. What did you do? It's grind time. It's grind time. I hate you, Brett. I seriously do. But they're rats. to die to rats, Alex. We're actually about to die to rats because I can't hit them. Lesser Mole Rat critically missed and took four points of damage. Knocked down and hurt herself. Bro? Yes? Why are you such an idiot? What? The rat knocked itself down and hurt itself. After critically missing to hit me. Yes, but why are, did you miss it so many times before that, though? Uh, because that's how RNG works. Duh. Because, yeah. Yeah, that's how RNG works. Praise the rng -ness. I can all of a sudden hit them constantly now. They're probably not any of them going to have anything. Yeah. for the power of nope. Oh, there was a corpse there, no. Oh, I noped too hard. I noped too hard. Alex, the nope was too strong. Why did you nope that hard? There was a corpse there. Ow. Just 
rocks. Oh, the scorpions caught up with me, but the corpse did not. Stupid corpse. Slowpoke. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think, is this the hub? Unknown. Is this the hub? No, this is Ghoul Town. They're not supposed to attack me, I don't think. Well, I guess I'm murdering a whole city. Well, I'm making a pile of corpses, Alex. Are you observing this? No, I'm not observing this because I'm too busy. I'm busy. I'm too busy trying to understand how stupid you are. Are you streaming this right now? Yes. Oh. Oh. Have you not been watching? No. I thought you said we were <clears throat> done streaming for the night. No, we're just not going to do, um, uh, Dead Space. Well, I just made a pile of about 50 ghouls. In one tile. I got 225 XP for all those kills. Well. Hmm. I've been attacked in the world. My ghouls, they followed me. These ones need to be tougher. They're called zombie guards. Wow. Actually, yeah, these aren't dying. I was hit for three hit points. No. These might be a threat if I hadn't uh, grain stabbed Ian so many times. Oh, they aren't feral. These guys aren't feral. Feral ghouls don't run. I can't tell. They just keep smacking me. I was probably hit for three points. Oh, I gotta reload. That's not good. Stop donkey punching me. Jesus.
Christ. Now I just realized, I'm like a speed build. I'm supposed to be dodging these. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose the zombies. You know what, Brett? I hope you lose to zombies, because then this will finally prove to you that you are not a good zombie fighter. Why, well, these are sentient zombies. <sighs> sentient zombies, 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 they're still zombies. But they're not zombies, they're ghouls, but my character has yet to learn what ghouls are. So instead of new fall games where it just still says ghoul, he doesn't know what they are, so he thinks they're zombies. He thinks he's being attacked by zombies right now. He's not being attacked by zombies right now, but he thinks he is. I don't actually think there's any way I can not survive this right here. Oh, never mind. There's a survival. Oh, he just knocked down, so he's probably still gonna kill me. Oh, he's unconscious. He's still alive. In that case, no survivors. There, now he's dead. Down. No weapons can be drawn except in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your fault. Other than that, it's right to go around arms. Just don't pull a knife or gun out without just cause. Have a good day. No, I just wanted to load the gun. I'm not in the city yet. God damn. Why? What is wrong with you? I'm not in the city. So, Alex, we've found an actual town. Maybe we can buy a rope here and get on with the actual game. Is it Reno? No, it's Junk Town. <gasps> Tales of a Junk Town, Jerky Vendor. Yep. I didn't know that was a post apocalypse written story.
hope you're not gonna kick me out of here. That's a strange way to start a conversation. Part just healing, even though we can just wait a night for the wound to heal. Something I can steal. That's what we're looking for. Steal, something to steal. Steal tales of a junk town jerky vendor. That's not written yet. The person has sold his mother. Uh, town blurs today. So there's two medics in one town. Rock. Frag grenades. Three frag grenades. The doctor has three frag grenades. He won't be needing those. I saw it right next to the armed guards, but they aren't looking this way, because unlike new fallouts, you don't have eyes in the back of your kneecaps. Hello, peasant. I'm just gonna be, uh, looting your things. You see, you have no idea. It's called the cat's paw. Can I help you? Alex, I found someone with voice acting. Hmm? I found someone with voice acting. Ooh. And a face. Most people don't have faces, do they? He's special. Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. So he's at a Desert Eagle. 44 chambered. And that's about it. He's a Desert Eagle salesman. Oh. I might be able to make that work. He wants 1,000 for it. Well, I might not be able to make that work. And lost grenades. What do grenades sell for? An alright amount. Cat's Paw sells for 50 because it's porn. So I'm gonna give him then 160, 157, 157. Okay. Oh, that's wrong math. Uh, and another, and then 20. He'll make a two dollar profit. Okay, that's a good trade. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? 
You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. He's looking for desert eels. That's all he has. Dude, he's trying to kill the store owner. Alex, the store owner is being attacked. Then protect the store. Protect the flesh. I will shoot the enemy in the groin. <laughs> I have he shot him. That, like he did it with that one man in the middle of the desert with the knife. Ian? Yeah. yeah exactly like that. He is trying to shoot the store owner in the or in the face. I'm trying to shoot him in the groin. I killed him with a shot to the groin. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he just collapsed like a rag because of the plane. So I just shot him in the back of the head. Uh, uh. I got 400 XP. Let me loot. Loot! He's got an assault rifle. Or a hunting rifle. Hunting rifle. I'm now going to talk to the store owner. After I income it. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? I'm in. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. All right. The Crash House Hotel. She got shotgun shells. Bye. I guess I'm looking for some info. No thanks. Bye. Nothing in the bookcase. Alex? What? You ready to take on a crime boss? How about we take on the biggest crime boss in the entire wasteland and see how quickly we can keep ourselves from dying? I mean, how quick, how, how long we can keep ourselves from dying? How quickly can we make ourselves die? That's a good challenge. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, I win when uh, you fall over. Wait, what? Why would I fall over? Because you're dying first. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I'm here to tell uh, oh, you your assassin failed. 
I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. I want to know how someone as stupid as you is still alive. Which one should I say, Alex? I'm trying to make him confess. I wonder how someone as stupid as you is still alive. No. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember hiring someone to kill Killian, you stupid slug? Or, of course you do. You hired someone to kill Killian, and he's screwed I up. don't know who you are. Stupid slug. But I don't take kindly to strangers walking into my office and accusing me of things they know nothing about. Ah, but here's where you missed the point, Gizmo. I'm not accusing. I'm here to help. Really? <laughs> he's gonna help. What kind of help are we talking about? And let me guess, you're that someone. Very well, good. How can I trust you? <laughs> All right, we can do this. But you work. For me, you better know that nobody ever double crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me. Oh, I could put one over on you. Just no way anyone could put something around you. Or could put one around you. That's calling him fat. Call him fat. <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Could you say that again, please? This time into my coat pocket. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one. A box of noodles. I stole his box of noodles. Now I'm gonna go get him uh, arrested. Let's go out. Why? Why not? Dude, it's noodles. Why are you stealing noodles? Because it's the only thing he has open that I can reach without having to break into his room. So let's go back to the shop and be like, hey, Killian, look, I've been hired to kill you. And I recorded it. So, did you get the evidence? Which? Bugger tape. Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. So, Alex, do I want a shotgun and shells? Do I want a suit of leather armor? Or do I want a doctor's medical kit? Suit of leather armor. We already have that, so we're going for shotgun and shells. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Sure, it'll be worth it just trying to see him, or just to see him try to walk more than ten feet. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now listen, this town o- Well, let's uh, load up that shotgun. Vision, presence, quick pocket, smooth talker, strong back.
I've killed 35 rats, 1 men, 8 ghouls, and 3 rat scorpions. So, in this back corner where no one will see me draw a weapon, I'm going to load this shotgun so I actually have bullets in it. God dang it, this stupid freaking app. I keep trying to refresh it and it keeps saying that you went offline. Oh, apparently this gun is uh, loaded. In that case, I, I swear. Don't that. Oh, I swear. I have to watch an ad now. Oh, thank God, it's only for Doritos. Doritos is good. So are Tito's. I don't want ads yeah, for things that I actually like. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. It skips ads automatically whenever they buffer. That is awesome. No, I'm straight on the stream. Oh, that's Andrew. I need Lars. <laughs> uh, I need to put on... Something that is not cargo shorts while I'm laying in bed right now because these make me feel very uncomfortable. Why did you go offline? I didn't. It just said you went offline. Well, that's pretty stupid. I just shot a man with a shotgun. Fall off the back of a truck, really? Are you just joining the stream now? No, I joined the stream like 10 minutes ago, and it just cut off the stream and said that you went offline. Oh. Well, one of us lost internet then. Ooh, 92 or 95 percent chance to hit him in the head. Well, let's do that. Well, he's dead. He just got shotgun point blank in the head. This fat dude. He's so fat that he's bulletproof. They're sort of sinking into him. Ooh, and the gore. Did that guy seriously just say you're not very nice? Maybe. <laughs> Nine millimeter mouths are with twenty rounds. Cool. I love how Band the dude dropped three, three bandits on him. Bandit shooting at the store keep. Not very nice, you know. <laughs> store keep is being innocent and running a honest business. Robert comes in, starts shooting up the place. Let me loot the metal armor man. Go back for the metal armor man. Go back for him. Go back. Go back. I haven't even killed the gang in town yet, I just killed, like, the mob boss. What's the difference? Well, this dude is, like, running an assassin, like, ring. And the other dude is just, like, a street gang. In fact, it's not a dude. It's several dudes and chicks. In a street gang. And why'd you say a dude? 
because I killed the dude in the mafia. Or the mob boss that ran a casino. This dude's only got 50 coins. I, I guess uh, shotgun shells do tend to ruin armor. That dude had a Mauser on him. That fat dude. What's a Mauser? It's the Chinese pistol in Fallout, except it's actually like a decent gun. Well, it's like, yeah, let's let's take a Mauser and just make it suck. Even though I'm pretty sure a real Mauser was like 7.62 for pistol rounds. That's pretty big. There's a difference between 7.62 and pi pistol and 7.62 rifles. Like, there's a difference between 50 AE for a Deagle and 50 BMG for Browning machine guns and 50 cals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, BMG stands for Browning Machine Gun? Yes. Oh my god, I... Is the original 50 cal was the Browning Machine Gun. 50 cal, Browning Machine Gun. And then, yeah, and then, and I know what BMG stands, stands for Browning Machine Gun now, I know where the letters go. But, yeah, then you told me about the story of, like, that one guy that started using the Browning Machine Gun as a sniper rifle. Yep, that one sniper dude. He's like, I got a 25 times scope. And then he got like the longest headshot uh, in history at that time. And now who has it? Why do you say that? I'm quite happy. I'm very happy because there are lots of things that bleed. Who has it now? The longest headshot. Uh, I don't know. Because now you're not trying to take a headshot because it's seen as a stupid risk. Because with 762... If you hit someone anywhere in the torso, they're dead. Yeah. And you can't really say it was Chris Kyle because it was just that was the longest confirmed kill. Yeah. Not not the longest headshot. Oh my god. Chris Kyle's like my idol when it comes to the military. I believe there's actually a Russian man that beat him. I believe Chris Kyle was the second longest. No, it's the longest. I believe the Russian dude had it. Fine, look it up. And I believe he also only had a four times scope. Oh, Whereas Chris had like the. Big the... Deal. Well, considering that's less than half the magnification Chris had, yes, big deal. Oh my god, then look it up for him, won't you? I mean, Chris can't exactly do it. Oh, that was a low blow. That was a low blow, especially towards my idol. Oh, uh, longest range confirmed kill confirmed by GPS Craig Harrington of the UK. How did he get that? Uh, distance of 2,474 meters. Yikes. Which is one, it's 1.54 miles. You went offline again. Cool. I'm proud for All you. Alright, what, where's Chris on that list? Uh, yeah, I think he's three. Let's see. Go back in your history and go back to the page I'm you were on. Here. So the first one, so number one is <clears throat> Craig Harrington of the UK. Mm -hmm. Next yeah. one is Corporal Rog Furlong of Canada using a 50 cal. Canada, the Canadians don't hurt people, they're always nice. No, they fought with us in Afghanistan. Uh, number three is uh, Corporal Aaron Perry uh, with another 50 cal. He's also Canadian. They were both in the same battalion, too. Nice. They were in P Princess Patricia's Canadian Light <laughs> Infantry. <laughs> Princess Patricia, eh? Next is Brian Kramer, who is American. I love it if like both the Canadian guys were like sitting right next to each other and they both just picked off like two dudes from the... like. They're, like, seriously directly next to each other, and they both just pick off two dudes, and one happens to be, like, two inches in front of the other. Oh, but this dude, he used a high-explosive round when he got this kill, this uh, fourth dude. He's American. He's Brian Kramer. He used high-explosive rounds and got a kill. So he got the next one at a shorter range, and he sort of cheated with an explosive bullet. Next was Gunnery Sergeant Carlos Hathcock. 
from with a Browning or an M2 Browning machine gun. Uh, he's U.S. That was from the Vietnam War. Next is South African Special Forces sniper. Name withheld. Uh, uh, he's South African. Next is uh, Nicholas Ramsted uh, with a 50 cal. Uh, in um, he's U.S. Next is Chief Petty Officer Chris Kyle. So he's how far down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's eight down. So he's number eight. Whoa. Okay, let me see that. Uh, he used a Lapua Magnum. Lapua. Yeah. So he doesn't have the longest kill, however, he is using a traditional rifle, whereas everyone above him, aside from number one, was using a 50 cal, which travels much better over range. However, uh, the dude at the top was using the same, uh, ammo that Kyle was. Wait, he was using lock base. B408 bullets. Hold on. What are those? Let's Google this. Iraqi insurgents feared Chris Cal so much that they placed a bounty on his head. They placed a bounty on all snipers. Kyle was just the person they got a picture for. The bounty was for anyone with a sniper rifle. Alright, so this, 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 uh, lock base round is not any kind of a tracking thing. It's just a bullet. It's just a company. And so for that is, uh, Christopher Reynards. He's British. With the, uh, Lapua. Mm, where's the Russian dude? Ooh! On this writ er, on this wrist, yes. Uh, on this watch, yeah. No, uh, on this list, it even has, um, a confederate sniper. And then, it's also got, with an SVD, Sergeant Ilian Vladimir. Additionally, he received the Grateful Nation Award, given by the Jewish Institute for National Security Affairs. Jewish Institute? He's, he's Christian, and he got a medal from the Jewish Institute. Well, that's another thing where, like, the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians all split off in the same thing. But Jews are weirder. Hey, you're offline. I'm not saying anything bad. But I'm not offline. It says you are, though. Your stream is lying to me. I'm gonna go put a plate downstairs and uh, go to the bathroom quick. I'm gonna go to bed in a second. Okay then, goodbye. Well, we're gonna save it here and end the stream. Goodbye. And find this and...